is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com, and today we're going to learn how to change the hovering effects. When we hover over our buttons, they're going to change to a different color. So let's see where we left off. And we have our Actions panel over here. So to get out of our Actions panel, let's go to Properties, and let's move this over, because we are done manipulating Actions for now. So let's see what we have. So let's preview this really quick. So let's preview it in Flash. And we have a simple Flash animation that changes when we press these. But now what we want to do is we want to hover over one of these buttons and let the user know that it's a button by changing it to a different color. So we can either make it, um, we can make it a darker, a lighter color. I'm going to show you how to do all of that. So the first thing that you need to do is go to your frame one and go to buttons and double click the um, next button. Just double click it. And now we're going to go into the settings for our particular button. So we have the um, we have an up, over, down, and hit. So these are basically what happens when you when the button is up, when you regularly see it, when you go over the button, when you press the button down, and when it gets hit. So I want you to insert a keyframe for every single one of these. So just click each one of these and insert a keyframe. But the only one we are going to manipulate is over. So go on over and go modify, convert to symbol. And let's call this, change your type to graphic, and let's call it next underscore hover. And click OK. Now we can manipulate the alpha settings or the advanced settings of this because it's no longer a particular button. So if we come to our color effects, if we go to advanced, now we can change the RGB of this particular button. So if we click this zero, and let's make this 100, now you're going to see the button becomes more red. So if we hovered over this, it would turn to red, but that kind of looks a little weird. So let's change the green. Let's make that 100. And now you can make it green, so that actually looks pretty cool. But what we're going to do today is make it more blue. So if we come in here and make it more blue, then it becomes that really cool blue color. So now that we're done, all you do is click Scene 1, and you're completely done. So if you go File, Publish Preview, Flash, you will see when you hover over this button, it will change to blue. How cool is that? So now let's do the other two buttons. We're going to do the same thing. So make sure you're on scene one in the very first frame and make sure none of your buttons are selected and then double click the pause. Now insert a keyframe for all of these. Insert keyframe, insert keyframe, insert keyframe. Now go to the one that says over, modify, convert to symbol, make sure your type is graphic and let's call it pause underscore hover and click OK. Another cool effect that you can do instead of changing the advanced settings is change the alpha settings. So you can make it maybe fade out a little bit when uh, when you hover over it. But we're going to stick with the advanced settings, keep them all the same, and change our blue to 100 and click enter. So we're going to do the last one right now. So click scene one to come out of this and make sure you're on that first frame and double click the previous button and insert all of your keyframes can't right click right now. Come on. There we go. Insert keyframe. Insert keyframe. Insert keyframe. Go to your over, modify, convert to symbol. Let's call it previous or prev underscore hover. Make sure your type is graphic and click OK. And change your advanced settings. And let's go blue and make it 100 and click enter. So now Let's go back to scene one, file, publish preview, flash. And as you will see, when we hover over all of these buttons, they now change colors. So now your user will know that they are on the right button and it doesn't change colors until you go over it. And then it kind of flickers when you, when you click it. So this has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and stay tuned for more tutorials because we are going to make this even cooler. So stay tuned.